<laughs> Dude, I'm going to change my handle to Meet Joey. <laughs> C R E no, 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 Chief meet Real Kevin, Estate meet Officer. Joey. <laughs> yeah, Meet Joey. Well, Joey, you've, you're like, Got you know, we, we came off of a fresh, you know, all time high yesterday of an episode. <laughs> we did. And then and, it turned uh, out to kind of calm down, not be as. Uh, it was a nothing burger. Pandemic y as we were thinking. Yes. I think that's the new normal going forward for the next year. Yeah. But uh, you never know what you're going to expect. You never know if a missile is going to be launched or if another country is going to, currency going to fall. Like, just be ready for more of this, guys and gals. Be prepared. Yeah. And if you're like me, stand by your mailbox and wait for your check so that you can buy more. <laughs> I can't wait. Let's Thank go. You, Chris. We're waiting. Have you guys been looking at the market today? Yeah. My biotech is uh, up 2%. We have earnings tomorrow. Dude, it's been more of a green day today, uh, which yeah. uh, which is kind of, I mean, to me, yeah, interesting. Um, even in the af- uh, aftermarket last night, it turned out to, like the pre, you know, the uh, over in the evening time, um, it looked like stuff was, you know, like, like today was going to be a green day. And it is so far. Yeah, the S&P is up five, uh, 2%. So between yesterday and today, that's just negative 1%. Uh, but unfortunately, the interest rates went up a little bit. They went – so we were at um, 6.38 yesterday, and then today we're at 6.5. So they went up a little bit, uh, which uh, which obviously – But that's just LIBOR, realtor. right? That's like the overnight rate banks lend to each other. No, this is uh, not necessarily. This is the rate that the consumer gets. So, uh, so I, I I look at market daily news, and they tend to be fairly accurate. Um, and uh, and so it, they put out every day what like the average rate is. And so it went up, you know, almost, uh, you know, uh, you know, twenty uh, percent um, from yesterday. So, or 0.20% from yesterday, not 20%. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's still, we're still low six, six and a half. You know, it's probably been since the beginning of the, uh, of the rate hike that we were at six and a half. So I'm still happy with that. But naturally, as the realtor and the real estate guy, I want to see it, you know, 6% or lower. As someone buying a house, I would like to also see it six percent or lower. But uh, yeah, I got a few months. Oh, good to lock. Yeah, you do. That I actually might like work out months. quite nice for you, actually. I hope so, man. Because you're not closing till December, or January. And now they're saying like November, like Thanksgiving ish. Okay. Yeah, okay. they're saying they're ahead of schedule. I think they're trying, like all builders, to rush. Yeah. Before the prices come down a little. So oh, I they're see. just trying to get more houses. Yeah, up. They're building that. fast, man. They're building fast. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think so. So the markets have entered markets being stock. Have they entered crypto region in terms of volatility? No, no. I would crypto say went that down we're... a lot yesterday and came back up a lot more than stocks did. But are, are, Chris, are you just saying is the stock market as volatile as crypto? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I would say now, yeah, I think so. I mean, because crypto is volatile, it goes up and down dramatically. Wait, by crypto, no are you talking Bitcoin? Because Bitcoin, the most stable one, still went down like 11 percent yesterday. And, and then came back up came back faster. Up, yeah. and, and Bitcoin loses on the regular and gains on the regular two or three percent a day. Yeah, that's right. that's pretty volatile. Yeah, which is right. what the market like. The Dow did that like yesterday, and everyone was shitting their pants. Yeah. Patrick right. Bet David was calling for bunkers. He, he was. And, uh, yeah. I mean, ridiculous stuff, man. Like that guy's become a fear monger too, and I love his stuff, but. You man. know, I would agree with that. He he is a little bit. You know, I think I think as when, you know what when men get older, <laughs> this is exactly what happened to uh, Robert uh, Kiyosaki. 
at, Feels like men, he went loony, man. <laughs> yeah, he is off his rocker. And I don't want to say that about Patrick Pat David. And I, no, I no, these are legends. The these exactly. are legends. They are legends. I'm still fans of both yeah, of these guys by too. a lot. But one has the question the How incentives. How many bunkers do you have? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the incentives for, look, Charlie Munger said, don't appeal to reason, appeal to one's incentives. Dude, he wants more views. Wise. He's growing his brand. He pivoted from business 100%. to politics. What does every popular politic political tweeter tweeting? It's just uh, war. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, look get, at the news. Hide your yeah. women and kids. Hide you your know. wife. Yeah. Yeah. It's all that stuff. Well, and... unfortunately, that does much better in ratings. Yeah, you know, people click on it. So it just unfortunately, like like if you guys were going to to place ads on Facebook and Google, which we do or have done, right. and you know that a certain thing, you know, it's like, well, dang, dude, I I make five, six, seven x more when I do it this way. Now I'm not saying that it's true, or I'm not saying that that's right, but uh, you know, there are incentives there. You know, you yeah, do you know. Value, value tainment now and Patrick Pat David, he you know, he, he he's done tremendous things with growing. And I listen platform. almost every episode. I no, so do I. I. I do too. But I tend to think he's quite wrong about real estate. Um, uh, now I'm I will say I'm biased. You know, I will say that. I'm one hundred percent biased. You are biased. To a man with a hammer, too. everything is a nail. <laughs> <laughs> but he he's biased too. Uh, Everyone is, you know. Yeah, it's just a matter of like what's incentivizing this person. I think yeah, critical point, thinking dude. is missing from consumers' eyeballs. Like we are on social media all day, and a lot of people yeah. lack critical thinking because they assume the influencers have the same net neutral. You know whether people watch view this tweet or not. You know to you, all right. You are the consumer of that tweet. Whether you react one way or another really does nothing to you. But if you react positively in any way, like, oh, fear or something, okay, I need to follow Patrick Bad Day, I need to go subscribe. Like, that is an, an outcome he gets that you don't get by tweeting that way. Correct. But people assume that the people making the content are just like them. That right. Yeah, that's just is a true. normal dude that it got nothing to lose by or gain by this tweet that's right. not the case these people you need to watch who you're getting your information from even the ones you like i completely agree yeah and i you know and i i feel like i learned i started learning that really young in my career that just because and this applies to many things just because you respect somebody and you look up to somebody that doesn't mean they're a hundred percent right about everything yeah, and you know, even yeah. look at Robert uh, Kiyosaki, very smart. I really look up to him. I mean, he was extremely pivotal at me at a young age when I read that at twenty-two. Me too. Twenty-three. Yeah. yeah. And so I so, but the mistake would be, oh, he knows everything about everything. Just listen to one hundred percent. You know, yeah. without question, he's a hundred percent right about a hundred percent of the things. I don't think you should listen. And then, like, okay, use your intuition and like, hey, does does this apply to me? Is Critical there a thinking. motive? Exactly. Is there? But a motive that leads here? to tribalism because yeah. people. Mm. Let's face it: critical thinking, doing your own due diligence, is the hard work. So and people people, want to do that. Yeah. No, what people rather do is find ten to twenty people they trust yeah. online that are influencers, right. follow them, and then start echoing everything they say. Because that's a shortcut to their thinking. Like, okay, these are my these are my frameworks. These guys, right. this is my border. If somebody, if a twenty first person comes out and I really like him, okay, that'll be also part of my framework. And now I start having like a framework of how I respond to everything. That's not right. okay. I think the art of learning is something they need. We need to go back to all of us to learn for ourselves everything Dude. before you have an opinion. Dude, I like that. Yeah, versus like following blindly, full heartedly. Yeah, right. Because what happens you know? when the genuine person gets influenced by financial considerations? Yeah. Like Grant Cardone. Hey, Pat, I want you, you to know? start tweeting yeah. more about Trump because, you know, or like right. look at it on the other side. Let's not pick on right. PBD. Kamala right. paid the 20K a pop to influencers to go to her stuff. 
start yeah. uh, di- uh, doing these dances on TikTok about her. Like these are people. Why are they doing that? Because the the elites know these people, these influencers control people's thinking. Right. They don't. Nobody thinks for themselves anymore. This is why, for any opinion I ever get, I try to argue the other side. I really, yeah, and I, really I think try. that's super smart. And you, I, you, you do do that, um, and I think you do that very well. And I think that's so smart. And you know, again, I think, I think this type of, um, I was just thinking this because, like, uh, even like with financial decisions, like I had, um, uh, luckily, I did not have to learn this the hard way. I actually learned this from watching other other people a, lo- a while ago, uh, 15, 20 years ago, make um, unfortunate financial mistakes with investing and, in, you know, not giving money, but investing into something. And uh, what I learned was just because you know somebody and you trust them personally, if they ask for money or they want you, not ask for money, if they want you to invest into their idea, Um, it doesn't necessarily mean just because you know them, like them, trust them that you should a hundred percent go. And I, I had this, I had this, um, since COVID two different times, uh, uh, where I, I knew this guy, I liked him. I trusted him. We had a lot in common together and he, he, uh, was, uh, two different business ideas that were two, two years apart from each other. And, um, and I was like, oh, at first I was like, well, I like this guy, you know, I can trust this guy, you know, but then I'm like, oh, I remember these bad, you know, you don't know their situation just because they're good doesn't mean that the idea might be good and you could get your money back, <laughs> you know, so you sure. should like use your critical thinking. And it turned out both of those times I would have lost my hat on both of those. And he's a great guy. I love the guy still, we're, you know, still friends, but I, um, you know, we also want to, you know, protect ourselves and know that we, we also have our own, uh, you know, uh, we, we need to be our own, um, like, uh, the, the decision falls on us. We can't just yeah. blame somebody else, you know, nobody else, man. I no. think <laughs> critical thinking, well, people are way less educated than they ever were. People are reading True. way less because of podcasts and, yeah. videos people are learning less original ideas like a lot of podcasts are just regurgitated frameworks from others yeah like where's the original ideas from i mean how many people go back and read wealth of nations or for all the socialist critics go read Karl marx like no they don't they just get who they likes opinion against Karl marx's arguments and they use that. It's it's a problem, man. Like education is really going downhill, and it's not just the school system; it's the parents because the parents are not educated themselves. Dude, now we're getting to Chris has been awfully territory. quiet. Chris yeah. looking like he's gonna blow a gasket. No, blow it, Chris. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I've done plenty of talking already today. I'm fine listening, but today, why? what the Chris and Dan show haven't heard from you yet? No, okay. So, um, okay. Well, I guess the counter going to be huge. <laughs> I guess there's counter arguments and agreements. I mean, to what you're saying, certainly. Uh, see, my, me personally, the way I approach this is I have my convictions, I have my belief systems. When I listen to somebody, if, if it's beyond what I think is true, or it makes me think, uh, this is out out of bounds right um certainly you need to investigate and that's the problem most people don't there's nothing wrong with having convictions i think the lack of convictions in this society is why we're in such a mess we are now personally seriously i mean if a man can be a woman and a woman can literally yeah. be a man there's a lack of conviction there oh now you just you're started just it, chris you're, you're you're able to oh, accept chris. it you're Let able to educate you about difference you're, between you're able to chris, they, they you're wait, 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 wait. you're <laughs> able you're <laughs> able to accept anything that you're told yeah. right so you need to have bounds of convictions in order 100%. to understand in order to understand when things are out of bounds That's right, right. This, and it, you should be able to fr- to change your conviction given enough evidence right yeah but For you sure. should always question things that just are out in your mind because you have a frame of reference of yeah. conviction 
this is outside the the norm is yeah. this is this possibly true and any moron that goes and looks up biology <laughs> understands that a man can't be a woman right well they get into these unless they feel ideas. that way <laughs> unless they feel that exactly and they get into these esoteric <laughs> topics about gender and sex right and uh, well that's where the confusion lies and the some of academics would argue well gender is a social construct and this is where we get in off the deep all end. bullshit I, all bullshit <laughs> because sure. I, I, agree. I, I had bullshit. this i had this argument in front of you with with a general uh fellow business partner i don't know if you recall this this was a dozen years ago uh um, what was their name uh, <laughs> oh. the one person we should have never partnered with for sure uh ss yes so um <laughs> <laughs> this topic came up. We were in the breakthrough office in San Bernardino. And I yeah. said to him, dude, okay, that's that's just that's <laughs> flat stupid, right? Here we go. Instant, he got instantly pissed. <laughs> of course. And I said, well, explain to me how this is anything other than some sort of mental problem, right? Right. Yeah. So a man can go get his dick chopped off and turn it into a vagina. That's That's not a mental problem. But an anorexia looks in a mirror and says, I'm too thin when they're already rail thin. That's mm -hmm. a mental problem. Tell me the difference. And he and he said, they're different, dude. They're just different. <laughs> and I was like, because okay. Because they said so. So one's a mental illness that's exactly the same. I'm looking in the mirror and seeing something other than I feel. Right? Yeah. Okay, so oh. go, personal. Oh, Chris, I'm sorry. I didn't so convictions are important to that extent. Of course. Condition. Completely of course. agree. Of course. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. And, you know, go. we kind of touched on this yesterday on... Um, well, I have one like, question oh, okay. on that, though. So convictions yeah. are important. But at, one point, at what point do you allow new ideas to encroach on the convictions and possibly change your convictions? Anything that tests your convictions, you should look into. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Okay. If you're listening yeah. to something, talking to someone, and they they bring up a, a point that they're very avid about and believe to be legitimate, you should go investigate. Does yeah. Because it can something? help make your viewpoint. Like if somebody were, like, let's say in uh, politics or faith, let's just use faith, you know, uh, you know, or biology. Said, oh, <laughs> uh, you know, that question your belief in Jesus or whatever and start to challenge you there. Do, I don't think it's a bad idea to hear what they have to say. No, I don't either. And then go back and you do a little bit more digging and research and building. Well, I don't either. They're just agree. That, that guy, Case for Christ, you know, he not necessarily a, a direct um, a connection there but he was an atheist and it you know it was in his journey of yeah. proving uh uh jesus and christianity was dead and that or, atheism or faith, is correct cult. or faith right. period but and then he actually found the opposite so yep. i i don't think that it's it's a bad idea to same but, thing with uh uh politics ben shapiro talks about this he's like one of the things conservatives need to do more is listen to cnn and listen to to hear their point mm -hmm. of view so then you can counter that better and ben is you know i feel like he also said like he's like i can i'm better at defending liberalism than liberals are because he he just he knows their arguments he's thought about it he's been able sure. to defend it and then he uses it you know that's his crypto you know but, his uh, strength but to your and dan's initial conversation and to ben's point there people don't either have time they don't have the brain power they're just, lazy yeah, they're lazy they have a job it, it, they're, they're yeah. in the gig economy. they don't have the time they got three it, jobs they gotta do maybe 30 percent of people Right, will do, we'll do this, right? And right. I actually know probably what's less, going on. Actually, yeah, I said probably. maybe. I said yeah. maybe. That's the high seven percent. So yeah. when when Martin <laughs> Luther, think about reading, right? When Martin Luther um, invented the printing press, what was that? Sixteen hundred or something? Fifteen hundred? Let's call it fifteen hundred. Reformation and all that. That basically, the church was like the government. So. The church was not like the church today. The church made laws. I mean, they ran shit like the government. 
it was very detrimental to the church that people read on their own, especially the Bible. And that's why the Reformation movement from that sprung Christianity, like modern Christianity, non-denominational Christianity, where people can, they don't need the intermediary of a priest or a church to tell them the Bible, you know, and then Christianity, as we know it, like the non-denominational kind took off because people started reading for themselves. That's all I would been... challenge that. I actually would challenge. I, I don't think, uh, I, I don't think that just uh, like Christianity, because you're talking about like Catholics and then uh, Christianity. I think that started before 1600, like where you don't need a priest to interpret the Bible for you. Actually, I, I, I would um, say that, that that's when G Jesus came back, um, you know, to uh, uh, that, you, you know what I'm saying? Sure, but okay, but Martin Luther got excommunicated from the church, and from him sprung, like, all the non-denominational Christian stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah, so other, yes, okay. But yeah. the, point, the point is, reading was considered so, like... A slap in the face to authority, and that's only been, yeah, independent thinking. Got it. That's only been, let's say it's fifteen hundred. I think it was a little later. I think it was like sixteen hundred. Let's say it's been five hundred years. Call it more or less. Okay. People have only been reading for five hundred years. Now in twenty twenty four, we're going back to, uh, not reading again <laughs> so re like yeah, now I the church the is essentially the government we saw this during covid the government will tell you what is true anyone who says anything else is blasphemy yeah, he's a racist. Yeah. you'll get excommunicated from youtube we actually almost got our channel deleted twice that's right yeah that's right um how is that different from being excommunicated from the church in the 1400s it's really the same thing. Like the way to do your livelihood, everything was connected to authority. Now we're giving up this authority to government or to influencers now. So we're letting the influencers be the new priests to let them interpret. I, ben Shapiro, I'm not smart enough to think for myself. Please yeah, I see tell what me saying. what you want me to think. And I will go and tell my disciples the same thing so it's very easy to get people hyper polarized because at the end of the day ben shapiro is a business yes candace is. owens is a business yes you know it's not just ideas that they have it's a business model they have to run and if people stop paying yeah. attention that affects them which is what's causing all the vitriol in our world not just country in the world well i so I, I do agree with what you're saying. I think that um, I so I think a couple things. Ben Shapiro and Tucker Carlson and the uh, I think that they are different than the mass media. Now I would I would make more of the argument CNN and Fox News is they're 100 percent of business. They're just they're just pushing. You know I feel like some of the independent media is not as bad yes are they a business are they trying to make money are they you know are they looking at the dollars and cents yes but i don't know if they have the same extent as like cnn or fox news with like producers telling you what you can and can't talk about i feel like tucker, uh, tucker carlson and ben shapiro and others even on the other side with when it's more independent i feel i feel like there's a little bit more freedom and it's a little bit less about big business media kind of thing but my last point and then i'll stop talking is that um i think that human nature has always had like a tribal like uh tribal part of them to where like you latch on to different you know sports teams or this is where i live you know this is the state i'm from you know like that competition and then that rivalry excuse me and like uh, attaching to something to where you have like bonding and something in common so i i think that's a little bit of human nature but i do agree with dan what you're saying which is people are becoming more lazy and have just allowed oh this what 
Ben says or what you know, Patrick Fat David says, and therefore I don't need to have a thought. Um, I do think people need to be a little bit more, uh, have their own opinions and to like actually like think about it before they believe it. So just one point to that in terms of you use the example CNN and Fox and it's all news networks, right? Even the independent ones, if they're in, if they're on TV, because those are owned by the big conglomerates, right? Fox and ABC and NBC and all of those. Um, and there's certainly a message that's centrally controlled. We've all seen the one where, you know, they show 80 different Correct. television channels say the exact same thing, literally the exact same thing. Yeah. There is a central messaging campaign. And the reason behind that is because they're owned by five corporations, right? 90% of all news and programming is owned by five companies so it's not too hard for them to control that and so what i'm doing is agreeing with you joy to a degree you get more independent thought though it is constrained to probably mostly the parameters of whatever their tribe is but they're not yes, that they're, is true. they're not given a direct message here do this right Opposed yeah i completely to, agree opposed to msm what's dictating their conversations is just what their tribe is thinking it's not a mandate right that's the difference at least in my opinion the only difference is there's a danger of feeling you're safe from being manipulated by thinking well i avoid i don't consume mainstream media you know i only consume these people and that's it well you can still be manipulated the dems yeah, do it yeah. the dems have influencers the republicans have influencers yeah online this is just a new version of cnn or fox news or whatever it's just well, the next way I don't it know if I would out. Say a new version but but it's i do think you can you are right can you still be manipulated absolutely of yeah course. you know and it, i would say if you're looking you know picking a lesser of two evils for me i feel like yeah the some of the private stuff I, it can be a little bit better i don't think it's holy <laughs> you know I, I definitely i don't want to say that you know but um you know would i rather <laughs> ra you know rather listen to tucker and you know ben shapiro than fox news you know yeah i, I would um you know but there you can still be manipulated and they still have their side you know so it's it's you know obviously ben shapiro and tucker they're going to be conservative period you know that you know but tucker uh, tucker's not a conservative he, well by well, the new would say he is. Con and most conservative would say by he the is. new by the by the new definition oh i think i'm a conservative yeah i think yeah, I absolutely am and i would say the same yeah. with tucker you know tucker no. tucker was a liberal yeah, absolutely was. And Tim Pool too. Tim Pool was also yeah, a, both were a liberal. It's because it's because the Overton window has shifted so much. They're now conservative. They no, they are no. not. Yes, I'm absolutely correct. <laughs> I can prove. No. See, well, this uh, is how I Tucker, know. Tucker this is how I know CNN. Tucker would be actually conservative. What's his views on abortion? That What's his, and I can answer that. What's Tim, his views? What's Tim his views also, on taxes? What's that his views make, on government that regulation? Make you conservative. It does. That, that no, that's it so simple. No, Those are doesn't. like three of the biggest things: taxes, abortion, and uh, guns. Oh no, that doesn't. And also, grow. yeah, that's gun, dude, let's go. The Overton window has shifted. <laughs> See what what Democrats all felt the same way. In a, not in about regard. taxes and not about guns. And no, not no, about no. they did. What no, what they not about? No, I disagree. Completely disagree. They were called oh, blue dog okay. Democrats. They were called blue dog Democrats. There was many of them. So that has changed. A in the few last or the overall many, majority? Many, not a majority, <laughs> but many. I'm telling many you. Many okay. men. Many well, men. I, yeah. I'm telling yeah. you, dude. I'm telling <laughs> you. They have changed in the last 20 years. I, so what you're saying but, is right. Ha, has has liberal and uh, and uh, conservative has has that changed yes were there democrats 15 20 years ago 30 years ago that said abortion and being gay was wrong yes but they still wanted more 
government regulation. They still wanted higher taxes. They still wanted more benefits. They didn't like guns, all that stuff. Now, t yeah, I don't, I don't know what Tucker believed a while ago, but I know what, I mean, he, I've heard him talk about uh, abortion. I've heard him talk about taxes. I've heard him talk about t like now in the last like five, six, seven years regulation and that's conservative now. So I don't know, you know, I don't, I, uh, yeah, but again, that's just my opinion. You know, I don't know. Um, you know, he could have been liberal 10 years ago. I just don't know that. So the Democratic Party in the 90s passed the Save the Marriage Act, right? Which, if you're not familiar with that, was homosexuals will never be allowed to marry. That was in the 90s. Democrats passed that. Okay. Yeah. 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 They they passed uh, what was it the abortion something to do with uh, rare, right? Right. So they wanted to limit abortion. I'm just telling you, okay. it's whoa, just whoa, whoa, so whoa. much. Wait, wait, but why that's, why that's does it why does it even matter though? Like, why why does it matter if we know? I'd prefer we don't know what Tucker is and just is a person that has he feels his way about different things like like me i actually don't know i think i'm tend to lean conservative but i mean on some issues i'm oh, probably I thought, I thought you were talking about gay <laughs> yeah i mean gay gay too like i think they should be allowed so to get i don't married. know uh, i think yeah. gay marriage should be okay i like there's things that where i don't fall i don't think we it should matter really for people to follow someone or like someone you know, you don't have to agree with everything they say. Like, I agree with what you're saying. What's wrong with just listening to certain issues? And hey, he said this. I don't really agree. Here's why. We can move on. Like, I don't think it's important who's conservative and who's not. I actually wish these labels would be gone. Like, I wonder how the government would work without okay, having parties, so, just individuals. So, he, here is Tucker's resume. He was a CNN commentator from 2000 to 2005. He was a CIA operative. From 2005 to 2008, he was an MSNBC nightly programmer uh, person. So he's worked yeah, on two of the leftist networks there is. What does that tell you about him? I do it for the money. So I'm just telling you, he's not necessarily like, what you think he is. Yeah. Well, and I don't care what he did 20 years ago. He, <laughs> no, that's not, no one, well, that's 15 no one years would ago. No one would disagree <laughs> with... I love with, this show. No one would disagree today that Tucker Carlson is conservative. Yes, like I said, because of the Overton window. You're shaking your head no, and I just showed you yes. <laughs> no, no, no one would disagree that T Tarkle, Tucker Carlson today is conservative. What well, what would make him? I not just agree. Yes, because of the Overton window. <laughs> what would you, make him? Do you know what, what the Overton window is, Joey? No, I do. I not. used to not know. So it's where they define the framework of what's a, a left. Oh, okay. And yes, somebody I do. on the right. Yes, yeah. it's shifted so much to the left that I, I, I everybody that was on the left has been dragged right. into the right. 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 Yeah, but I'm disagreeing with that with Tucker. Okay. okay. Because you you would have to show me where he would be on the other side, even now. Just because the, he worked uh, at MSNBC, yeah, doesn't mean he's a liberal. Just because you worked yeah. there, he's well, going I there. Think to... what, I think that like, almost again, definitely does. They've never had a conservative. Down. Down. Well, what you are going to go there to get the bag? No matter. one else going to yeah. hire you. Like that's your okay, first so, start. So, There's so a conservative he, so on the view. So he hid for five years. No, there's not. Yeah, there was, hit, there was a, no, yeah, no, there was not that, conservative. that one no. blonde lady or whatever, no. or, or Me, she's I, not super no, far. No, I've watched the view. I've watched the view a few times, and there's just no way there's a conservative on that network. Ivanka? Then yeah, no, Ivanka's <laughs> not on there. So she was uh, on there. But my uh, Chris, that's, that's the I'm same saying, argument. Chris, that, Chris, what I'm saying is, what I simple it down to his views. Okay, I don't care what other people like. I'm not again. I, you're saying the same thing. The Overton window no. used to include. Yes, you are. The Overton window no, used to be. For, yes, you are. You, you, the Democrats Overton, and Republicans just, can have some agreements, but he still is he against regulation? Is he against cutting taxes? Where prove me wrong 
by what views does he have? Has a conservative that... ever been on MSNBC? Yeah, that's, to get that's the back a, too, for that's sure. Not, to get the no, back. no, 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 as a host. As a that's host. not a... So he uh, to get the back. So he to lied. Get the back. So, they, so he lied. I think it's good that I would go on The View. I would go on CNN. I no, don't like, see... I don't like this tribalness shit to where you... Yeah, host. Just go because on. you host. leave one spot, you can only talk in one department. Yeah, I think that's In bullshit. fairness to Tucker, if your dream is to be a journalist and get your own platform eventually, like you're going to yes. go on a national syndicated and, channel regardless and, of their political party okay, I, I i'm not disagreeing with any of that what i'm saying to you though is in order to do that then he must have lied about his opinions right or back okay, then okay, they didn't who, care okay, so much maybe, like they just yeah. wanted good but good uh what about him makes him liberal <laughs> so you haven't described that besides the overton but like what what is in his stances true fair enough point to an article let's see a link that he wrote no 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 with his just name on point it. to what what one of his stances i feel like you should you know we all probably know most of his i don't point. so again being and, I, and I would say if you call him a liberal, you're calling yourself one. Okay, so, I think you and him. I, like I think Chris is liberal on certain no, issues. No, so Fox News has always been to the right. MSNBC has always been to the left. Fox News has never had a commentator or host from the left. So uh, what I'm telling you is either Tucker's beliefs were in line with the MSNBC propaganda, or he oh, lied, yeah. or he I, lied. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. I care about what his views are. I know. just told uh, you, Joey, he either lied about his views, which they would have to be on the left to be on MSNBC <laughs> for five years and be a host. Are you wait, disagreeing? Wait, wait. They I have, have one. Host? I have a disagreement with one thing you said, fact checker. Fox <laughs> News did hire Geraldo Rivera, who is a leftist. Uh, yeah. He had his but, own show, too. Oh, that's that, Chris, that's not enough evidence to call okay. someone any side. I'm sorry. Yeah, and you why gotta, do we need to call people to point, things anyways? You need, to, you need to point to his views. I don't care who, where he talked. That's not, that's not enough evidence. The evidence is, hey, th he believes this about abortion. That's against this side. I get that. I don't need a link or anything. Just there tell, have tell been me what many he... people who have been, you know, changed their mind. You can change your mind. People do Hillary. get more conservative. Hillary Clinton does people. all the time. <laughs> yeah but like hard viewpoints like there's people who people tend oh, yeah. to get more conservative no, you're right. over there's time that one too. um oh what's his name uh he he's gay and he uh he was yeah uh, the ruby report or something ruby. i think so yeah and he was a hardcore left and then he's i think in debates with ben shapiro and i think a couple right, other people right. uh so wouldn't people like that even if Tucker was a liberal, wouldn't that make him more credible now being on the right? Like, I actually think that would be more interesting as far as his arguments are concerned. And But why do we need to label people anyways? Like, is it just for us to categorize who's cool and who's not? So that we don't yeah. have to actually do the work? No, I don't, I don't disagree with anything you're saying, Dan. My point is, is that he has shifted at best. Tim Pool is one that shifted. You taught me yeah. that, too. Uh, yeah absolutely yeah. yeah i mean a lot of people like the it comes from generally the leftist ideology stems from workers versus capitalists and then the ideologies kind of progressively get worse well or sorry if you're leftist watching into other things like degeneracy and you know whatever else. <laughs> like the worst extreme of leftism you can find and some would argue you have that you have degeneracy on the right side to you um but hmm. in a different format so uh should we switch gears from politics to uh <laughs> the yeah, average consumer yeah. but wait before we do do we need labels on people yes or no serious question well, if you want to organize things by tribes, it helps. I would say no. I'd prefer not having labels on people. I think, I mean, it would be nice, but I think it's just going to happen. I think, you know, like I said before, I think it's just human nature, you know, just kind of identifying who you are. Are you in this group? Okay, right. great. And that makes Even outside dangerous. of politics, that happens. That makes it we'll dangerous to be a free thinker within your own camp. Yes, but, you know, I think, you know, if, uh, the opportunity is, you know, don't be like everybody else. You can still have your preferred 
you know, uh, group, but, you know, I, I think the opportunity is hear what the other side is saying and see if it's, you know, um, of any value yeah. and, and then use that to your advantage to how to, you know, you know, um, have a, you know, meaningful, uh, dialogue with them back and forth and, you know, help prove your point. Right. So, I love uh, but podcast. yeah, it would be nice. All right, let's go to consumer. Let's go to, um, to consumer. Well, I was going to say, so like we were talking about yesterday, you know, we were talking about, okay, how does that like somebody get ahead that, you know, they're maybe making minimum wage or, you know, just, you know, this or that, like, do, do you guys think, let's say you're having a little bit, you know, you're not, you're kind of going into debt a little bit every single month, uh, you know, or you're just razor thin and just, you know, just breaking even. Do you think that person can get ahead and become financially free today? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I mean, hard work, like sacrifice. Now, is it as easy as someone who's had everything handed to them? Of course not. And that's okay. the fundamental argument of socialists is right. when the return of capital is greater than the return of the growth of the overall economy, it's an unfair advantage for inheritance. People who inherited their wealth um, and there should be inheritance taxes and things like that. And then there's a slippery slope into other things. So but the answer is yes. It's just it's hard to work, and it's not guaranteed to everyone, and life is not fair. You may not be born in a wealthy family, but you can still do it. So I agree, but I think it, 20, 30, 50, 70, 80 years ago was much easier in this country. Oh, I think, of course. I, of course. I think the barriers to entry are getting higher and higher and, and more difficult to overcome. For example, uh, if you want to go to college to learn a a skill or a profession, um, the costs I think have tripled in the last 20 years or something ridiculous. Whereas, um, it, that barrier of entry to learn a profession was much lower and your subsequent, if you took loans to pay for it were much less. So you weren't burdened with debt. I think too many people are burdened with debt now that just get, makes it too difficult to get out of. And so there's going to have to be paradigm shifts. Like going to school may not be for everyone anymore like it used to be. Right. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. They're just yeah. giving out PhDs these days. And yeah. they're, AKA, they're giving right. out six-figure debt. Yeah. Oh, more well, than mul six-figure mul yeah, yeah, multiple yeah. six-figure. Yeah, I know multiple doctors near me. But and, not like uh, MD. MD, you at least have a chance. I'm talking PhD and like latin american oh. studies yeah or oh, i see you know like doctorates but not yeah. m not a practical yeah, not doctorate. not a doctor not yeah. a doctor of engineering Phys physician yeah or a physicist yeah. even a physicist yeah. you know i'm talking like art doctors got it like now, you don't so... need to be in that kind of debt the economy doesn't value that knowledge knowledge is i can open a new tab right now and get ai to tell me shit about mm -hmm. dance or whatever, like you went to get a Lesbian PhD DS3? for. Yeah, and there's people graduating with these things, and yeah. they they're like mad. Where's my job? I'm on I LinkedIn know. all the time. Where's my job at? I'm a PhD. Right. Well, your PhD is not valued. The, even no. an MD is not valued what it was before. And, and then I mean, you just that's a multiple, right? So yeah. say a you can't get rid of that debt. You can't lose it in the bankruptcy, right? I think it's protected, right? Um. So this is going to hurt your credit. And a lot of employers now look at credit before they hire you. So smart. Um, yeah. L landlords do too. Landlords so, definitely. so I agree with you guys. I do think, I think it's probably, and it's probably always have been like that to where the next generation, it might be a little bit harder to get the American dream. Like we've had it right. Cause probably if you, last 80 years it's probably always have kind of like been a little bit like that right no, it's so actually, i think i think every generation up until your guys is the millennials have yeah improved. millennials are the first better. generation to have a worse quality of life than their parents in the yep. u.s right that it has gotten better yes but now it's um uh it's uh well okay so i, I I might need time to think about that for a it's second. It's harder. But so it's harder. today, I so today I agree. It's the harder. The youth is cooked. They don't even than, know how to read. 
<laughs> right. But do, so do you guys still Unfortunately, think that's that, true in a lot of schools. Do you guys still think that even though that it's harder, can can the average Joe like, you know, yes. they wanted to become financial free and, you know, yes. not be okay. You guys sales, use, sales even today, your way you, out. You think that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's harder. Though. Your way it's, out. There's less, there's less avenues for success. No, there's more. I, I yeah, no, I, I tend to think it. Yeah. I, I actually think it could even like Gary V, you know, he makes it a very interesting point. Like, um, where, two points one is it uh, it actually is easier to become financially yes. free in a business owner cuz i think at 20 30 years ago no internet you had yeah. to like you yet you, you had to like sign a lease you had to have you know it was more physical more capital more inventory it's easier, more whatever but it's not about just showing up like Correct. it is going to school these days Correct. you just show up and graduate it's doing yeah, something producing value which is the hard part. There you part. go, baby. Yeah. And it's finding the value. And just because yeah. you have that degree, yeah. that, that's not necessarily value. And by and the way, like, some people work really hard and can't produce value. It's not always laziness. That's right. It's skill set. Yes, too. that's right. That you is need right. to go back and fix your skill set. Is right. You could be the hardest working person on the planet if you have a shitty skill set. Right. You need to go and change that because you're not actually adding any real value in the world. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of e- things. So if it's easier, why are the less successful people today? Because they're incentivized oh. to sit home and have their hands out. Like there's no, like if this was Mexico, like our earlier podcast in the morning, mm-hmm. they don't have a social safety net. Guess what? People are not going starving for the most part yeah, in they, Mexico. They should get rid of the social safety nets here for the most part. Not all of them. Yeah, I agree. I would well, be like Javier Millet. Department Limit of them. this out afuera, <laughs> you know, I'd be throwing out all the departments. If you actually did that, you would get, you'd probably get assassinated. And like Trump, they wouldn't miss. <laughs> <laughs> if you tried that for real, they wouldn't miss. No, absolutely not, because people would be losing their jobs. Their, their. The government got engine. very cozy. You got people with no value add to the system, yep. getting paid. If you look at all the government workers, I read an interesting stat uh, like a few months ago. Unemployment, right? They want to brag about how that's so low. Did you know that like 38% of the country is employed by the government in some capacity? Yeah, and then a lot of those, because of the way they keep track of unemployment, have dropped out. Of that and a lot of those jobs are bullshit jobs. You don't need to do mm. shit. Yeah. There's no value produced. Have you ever yep. stood in line at the DMV? What value, <laughs> what customer service... What like innovations are they doing? Nothing. These are just people with fat pensions. They're yeah. being invested in bullshit Ponzi schemes too. That's another podcast. But they're they're doing nothing, right? That would not work in private hey, industry. Dan, it, Dan, it's noon. We go on forever, guys. You guys got me going. And Long story short, show. I do think just because it's it might be a little bit harder to get ahead, it. You still can today. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. Maybe that should we should continue this later, but it's new. It's, it's all about before, self-education now, too. Be, be, before we go, I will have to investigate Tucker Carlson. I'm just under the assumption. Please do. Chris, you might have got caught with your the end. down. No, no, And when no, you investigate uh, him, Chris, show me, show me we'll his stances we'll that we'll are liberal. We want receipts. I didn't follow him on MSNBC. We want receipts I'm on the Chris I'm just saying he Dan worked show. there. That's Chris, I'm coming after you. <laughs> I got one receipt with Geraldo well, we Rivera. Go, man, well, you said it Dude. quick about Fox News never had a left. I got Geraldo Rivera like that. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye. Thanks, Joy.